Yesterday, Kampa Lord Mayor Elias Sukwago questioned how the 6 billion shillings which were secured by KCCA from the Uganda Road Fund was spent. As of today, we have tasked the authority technical wing to explain how the 6 billion meant for patching up roads was used. However, the technical leadership of KCCA says all the money that was meant to patch up roads was properly spent to fix the targeted roads. Since the presidential announcement of 6 billion was not over and above what had been budgeted for, but was in fact part of the budget. And this money was released, KCCA received it, and we provided in the meeting yesterday a fully detailed accountability of the pothole works, the desilting, the drainage works, the stone pitching, and every detail of what we did in the last financial year, providing division by division, indicating the roads by name, the kilometers of road sections worked on, the square meters in terms of potholes that were patched, and every such detail, a report of which I have right here. A random spot check on the roads on Prince Charles Drive and York Terrace in Kololo, the potholes were still visible. Pothole works, like I have said, is not an end in itself. It is like feeding the body, that when you have lunch, you possibly will need another meal shortly after that. That when you fix one pothole in this particular location, another one will wake up and develop in another location because our roads continue to receive increased pressure from motorists and all the other vagaries, weather and others. So it is a continuous process on the side of KCCA to continuously attend to these potholes in regard to availability of funds. Simon Cassiate says they are mobilizing resources from different agencies to fix more roads in Kampala. So on one hand, our teams are working using the available resources as at that particular time. But on the other hand, our leadership, led by the executive director, is out to ensure that we lobby and get as much as we can to meet the shortfalls that we have. We can't relent. That's what keeps us awake at night. That's what keeps the executive director busy. That's what keeps the directors busy, ensuring that we get adequate resources to meet the service delivery demands of this beautiful city of ours. In April, various people protested the poor state of roads in Kampala by showcasing the impassable roads. Raymond Tamale, NTV.